and welcome to Oxus Tutorials. In this tutorial I will give you a short demo of the Webmin control panel. It's a free control panel installed by default on all our VPS servers and we just need to start it to make it running and be able to plug into the web interface. I will show you that in a few seconds. I just need to mention that Webmin is not like cPanel or NSIM, it's a system administration and monitoring tool. You can control all your, all your vital VPS functions through that web interface. Now, I assume you're logged into your VPS server and you should be seeing a shell prompt like on my screen. We just need to type service webmin start and webmin service has been started. Now, webmin is listening on port 10,000. I just need to find what's my IP address on this test VPS. Open a browser. Type in the IP port 10,000 and there you have a login screen. The username is root and the password is the one you got in your activation email. So on the webmin interface you have sections on the left menu and information on the right. The first screen that appears gives you a basic information about your VPS server. So there is a system host name, the host name of your VPS, the operating system that's installed, the webmin version that's running, etc. etc. You have useful information like running processes, how much processes are running, how much is the memory consumption, and how much of the local disk space is used. So on the left side you have webmin subsection that basically controls the functions of the webmin for example adding webmin users backing up the configuration file and nothing in interesting at this time we have system subsection that allows you to boot up and shut down your vps services for example you can control from here which daemons are to be ran after the reboot. You can change the password of any user on your system. You can do file system backup. You can monitor all, all running processes on your system and terminate them. You can set up cron jobs for repeated execution of the scripts you defined at defined time and you can add users and groups. The, this section uh, adding users and groups is particularly important because each user has its own mailbox. So for example if you just click create a new user and add him with the shell slash subin slash no login he will be able to receive email in his mailbox and he will not be able to log in to your VPS server via SSH. So it's safe and you can manage all the email users from here. On servers section you have all the services and ability to configure them. For example, Postfix mail server has lots of options. You can for example, click on mail aliases and add email aliases that's forwarding from one address to another. It's as easy as create a new alias. And we will review networking as it's also particularly interesting. You there have bandwidth monitoring where you can set up an option to monitor bandwidth and to display the traffic and you have Linux firewalls to set up the rules if you want to filter packages that come to your IP address you can set up rules, disable 
some IPs that you don't want to reach your VPS or filter particular ports to enable just a range of IP addresses to reach that port and that service. So, in short, Webin has lots of options and it should be all you need to successfully command your VPS functions from the web. Webin also has pretty large documentation, so you can review them on their website. That's all for today. Thank you for watching Oxus videos.